to these errors. Don't want to see him as prime minister. I don't believe in what he says or preaches, but, but it doesn't mean that the youth of this country are not disenchanted with the government. Because they see that uh, every two or three years, three days, a, a man uh, killed and the killer is uh, Arab. Shocked by the growth of pro-Kahana sentiment and racism among the young, the Israeli government is starting courses in the schools and the army aimed at combating what has come to be known as Kahanism. But the problem is that young Israelis are still being armed and trained to defend against the Arabs. I do not blame the younger generation in Israel for not knowing where to stand and some of them to join Kahana. I blame the leadership for not presenting the clear choice. And that is again the uh, failure of leadership more than it is a the failure of The clear choice to do what? The clear choice that we have Jewish state or democratic state. In other words, make the, the Arabs equal partners. Yes, or if you don't want that and you want to keep the purity of the Jewish state, give up the territories. But you cannot eat the cake and have it. But Kahana not only wants to throw out the Arabs from the occupied territories, the West Bank, he also wants to deport those Arabs who are citizens of Israel proper. Last year, only the military prevented Kahana from delivering his message personally to the Arabs to the city of Umm al Fahm, the second largest Arab city in Israel proper. The rabbi showed a man what he thought of a piece of paper on which the man had labeled Kahana a racist. <laughs> Kahana called the man a dirty Arab. Kahana often refers to Arabs as dogs. I want to make it clear to those dogs that are standing there, there is no such thing as an Arab village in the state of Israel. Come on!